I'm Don Clymer with IDI Distributors, and today I want to discuss with you the importance of properly storing your spray foam material between 70 and 80 degrees. Now what happens when you store your material above 80 degrees? Well, it can lead to a few things. One of those being increased vapor pressure within your drum, loss of blowing agent, which equals loss of yield, and frothing within your drums. Now if you store your material too cold, it can lead to increased viscosity or thicker material, which could cause a pump cavitation. Also, let's keep in mind that the delta T of most reactors is about 50 degrees. So if you have material temperature at 60 degrees, the delta T is at 50 degrees, you're really only able to get that material up to 110 degrees, which could be under processed foam. Let's take a look at how IDI and some of, con of the contractors out in the industry store the material to avoid these problems. Here is an example of one of IDI's foam storage rooms. As America's insulation source, we strive to store your material safely at the proper temperatures and delivered on time. As a contractor, you may have more limited space. Here are just a few more examples of how you may want to create your own foam storage room. Conditioning a space of this size will only require a window air conditioner or a small portable heater. As you can see, you don't need anything fancy or anything that will take up too much space in your warehouse to properly store your material. Storing your material at these temperatures can decrease your frustration and headaches, your downtime, and call back to jobs. If you'd like to see any other tech tips, please email us at techtips at idimn.com.